back. My next guest is perfect for my low crab diet. That's right. Casa of Fresno in Madera Counties is back with its 24th annual Casa Crab Feed. So here with all the details, Rebecca Johnson from Casa and Rebecca Gilbert from Crew Wines, this year's Crab Feed Wine Partner. Hello, Rebecca's. Thanks for being here. <laughs> we brought uh, we brought some libations, so I'm excited about that. But the 24th annual Crab Feed, it's become a very popular event around town. So when is it? Where is it? How does it help CASA do what you guys do in the community? So the CASA Crab Feed will be held on September 8th at the Garza Home. Okay. Um, they have been so gracious to host us for multiple years. Tickets are available on our website, casafresnomadera.org. And we are so thrilled to be once again partnering with Crew to provide some really fantastic wine to our guests. I know. All right. So for anybody who has not been to the Crab Feed, the pictures look incredible. It looks like a great time. What should we expect? What do we do with this Crab Feed? Well, you eat a ton of crab. It's all you can eat crab. Um, you have great wine. You have great food. Food. There's a silent auction, a live auction, and there are opportunities to sponsor a child, which is really important to us as an organization because CASA is funded about 50% by local individuals and events like this, fundraisers like this. And it's actually about 10% of our annual budget. So we have opportunities to support us in really fun ways. So we we love our crowd. And the, the way that people sponsor this event and the way that you guys fundraise is you can sponsor or actual crab that people eat at the crab feed, right? Because yes. it's all, there's all kinds of different crab. Well, this is mostly Dungeness. We have okay. different names of oh, crab. Oh, so oh, we have oh, the okay. king crab, yes. blue crab, Dungeness. We will be enjoying a delicious all-you-can-eat Dungeness crab delicious. feast okay. from the meat market. Okay, but we can we can uh, find sponsor opportunities and, and tickets online. But what's great about it is that you guys are partnering, and uh, we're going to do a little crab feed wine pairing. So, Rebecca, you brought some of Crew wines, and these are what you think would be great with crab. Absolutely. So we brought four of our wines here today okay. and they are all going to pair with crab. So three white wines and then we also brought um, a special wine from the winery, a single vineyard Sierra Madre Pinot Noir that's oh. also going to pair fantastic with uh, crab as well. Oh, that's great because you always think of white when you think of seafood. Okay, that's great. Okay, we're going to do a little taste test here. <laughs> so when you're, um, when you're picking a wine, how do you... I mean, how do you make these pairings? What are you looking for? Yes, especially with crab, there's kind of two things that we're looking for um, when it comes to pairing wine and crab. And one of them that you're gonna be looking for is acidity. Okay. Um, and looking for a wine that's gonna have some really nice acidity in it, that's gonna bring out some of that brightness of the crab. So the Albarino is a really great option for that. Um, this has some really nice natural acidity in it, and then it's all aged in stainless steel tank. Oh, okay. That's going to preserve that. And as you can tell, it has some of that zinginess to mm -hmm. it. Some like grapefruit, a little bit of lime peel. And that's going to pair really well with the crab. Yes, that is a delicious white wine. That would be great with something that's buttery, something yes. that, you know, is sort of like um, lick your fingers because it's real zingy and, and light. But there's a couple here that... Um, we can buy and then yes. there's one that we'll be able to actually have with the crab at the crab feed. Correct. What's that yeah. one? So that is our unoaked Chardonnay okay. um, and Chardonnay loves crab. So um, unoaked Chardonnay is really fun because it's also aged in stainless steel okay. but it's going to have a little bit of a bigger flavor to it than the Albarino. Yes. Um, it's going to have some of that really great classic Chardonnay um, flavors of apple, some pear. Let me try this because I'm always afraid of Chardonnay. You know I, I <laughs> I get a little bit uh, nervous with Chardonnay because it reminds me a little bit of my mom. Maybe we'll throw some ice cubes in here. I'll be just like her. Uh, what is the oak? So this one is unoaked. So this what one is the unoaked. What does do to Chardonnay? So when you put um, Chardonnay or really any white wine or red wine in oak, what it's going to do is it's just going to uh, kind of um, balance it out a little bit more and it really is up to the winemaker how they're treating it in oak. So if it has a lot of new oak, you're going to have more of those bigger buttery flavors mm -hmm. in Chardonnay. Um, sometimes it just kind of balances it out. So I think I would mm -hmm. like 
unoaked yes. because I don't really like that buttery sort of heaviness mm -hmm. of Chardonnay. This one's good. Yeah, and with the unoaked, this is aged in stainless steel. Yeah. So what it's really doing is retaining those natural Chardonnay flavors that we're getting. Uh -huh. So it's going to have some really nice um, orange to it. It's still got a nice crispness to it versus it is, being a little bit bigger and butter, butterier. It is delicious. This would be great with the all-you-can-eat crab. All right, so you guys can help support local foster youth. We will have links to how you can buy tickets if you want to sponsor. We'll have all of those as well. Rebecca and Rebecca, thank you so much. Yay, cheers. 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 cheers! cheers! All right, Wine Wednesday continues here in Central Valley today. Wine expert Lori Budd takes us back 2,000 years to the Rhone region in France.